friends and thank you once again for joining us for our Wednesday update. We're doing it a little different today. Pastor Sarah is at home and I am here at the church. So this is a great way we can do it together but not be in the same building. Um, I do have just a couple of announcements to begin with. First of all, um, we have a couple of Linton Bible studies beginning on Wednesday, February 24th. So we'd love for you to take part in those Bible studies. I am doing one in the life of Peter. Pastor Sarah is doing one on Holy Week. Uh, we also have child care available. If you have kids, feel free to bring them. Uh, Vanessa will have something for them to do. So that begins February 24th, 6.30. Um, we hope that you can join us. You can call the church office or go to the, our website, faithumc.com, and there's an incognito form that you can sign up with and be a part. We're also doing a Zoom option, uh, but we need to know if you are doing it via Zoom so that we can send you a link. Also, next Wednesday on the 17th, we are having an Ash Wednesday, um, I, I don't want to say service, basically it's <clears throat> come anytime between noon and one or between six and seven. You can drive up under the canopy and we will administer the ashes or you can come inside and we can do it that way as well. But we wanted to make sure that everybody who wants to receive the ashes as we begin again, as we begin the Lenten season, that you can do that. So next Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, the 17th, from noon to one, you can drive up or come inside or from six to seven, same thing, but we will administer the ashes. And then again, on February 24th, we're gonna begin a couple of new Bible studies. Also, the other thing I want to mention is Susanna's Kitchen, which is downtown Elkhart, but started from one of the four churches that formed faith, and we still support it um, a great deal. Dale McDowell is the one that is um, the chairperson right now for Susanna's Kitchen, but they are in desperate need of help. Obviously, with COVID, a lot of their volunteers aren't aren't coming, and so they need people to serve meals. So if you're able to do that, they serve meals Monday through Friday, you can call the church office for some more information, or we can, or, or if you do that, we can get you in touch with Dale McDowell if, if need be. Um, but uh, Susanna's Kitchen, desperate need for volunteers to help serve, to help serve meals, which uh, they do that over the lunch time. So if you can do that, call the church office. We'd love to have your help. That's right. And speaking of volunteers, I want to say a big thank you to all of our volunteers that helped with the Super Bowl this past Sunday. Um, we had a great group of teenagers that went out and took uh, names and delivered orders. And just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who placed an order. We uh, had about 50 orders, which was great. And we raised over $800 for youth mission. So thank you all so much. It was a fantastic day. Um, it was great to be with people and it was great to, to serve each and every one of you. So thank you for that. Uh, to continue an annual tradition means a lot to us, um, especially in this time of COVID. So thank you all for doing that. We also want to mention that there are a couple of open positions available at Faith Church. So we're really excited that, that we have some, some room to grow our church family. And so we're looking for a daycare director. Um, so if you know of anyone who might fit the bill for that position, we encourage you to send them our way. So uh, uh, we're looking for a director, but we're also looking for someone to cover the youth ministry. As you may have seen in the newsletter this uh, past this past month, uh, I'm going to be moving into some different positions at the church after serving the youth ministry for 14 years. So we're looking for someone to take over the youth ministry for on a part-time basis. So if you know of someone who might be great at uh, at youth ministry, I'll be able to work with them, and we're really looking forward to uh, to growing that ministry in new and different ways. So we're hiring a part-time youth pastor as well. So uh, if you have anyone in mind, send them our way. Um, I think that's about all. Do you have any other announcements, John? I do not. All right. Well, I would love to just close us then in prayer. So if, if we could all pray together, let's do that. Dear gracious and loving Father, we do thank you for this day. We thank you for the cool breeze that reminds us of fresh air and, and just the goodness of you. God, we thank you for the snow, the purity that, that comes from the sky. God, we just thank you so much that you are around us and surround us in so many ways. God, we thank you for all of it. Lord, be with each and every person today as they go throughout their day that they might be, re be reminded of your love and of your grace. Your blessed name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Stay warm.
Bye, everyone. Thank you.